Hi guys, we have been showing you how to replicate the blocks of options we have in our Yeetbook Commerce product add-ons and extra options plugins live demo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replicate the block of options that we have in the engagement ring. This one has options like images to choose the right color, drop-down menus to choose the size, and it even has a text box where you're going to be able to type whatever you want to be engraved in the ring. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. So this is the product from the live demo that we're going to replicate today, the classic six glow solitaire engagement ring. We're going to add a block of options that is going to contain images right here, radio buttons, drop down menus, a checkbox, and a text area that is only going to be visible if you check this checkbox. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what the product looks like right now. It doesn't have any options. It's just a simple product, an engagement ring, and just one image. Let's go to the dashboard, the product add-ons, and the first thing we have to do is create a new block, add block. I'm going to name mine ring. This is just for us. And add options. The first option I'm going to add is label or image. The title is going to be gold color. The first option is going to be white gold. Let's add a tooltip, an image, choose image, and we're not going to change the price of the product when this option is selected. Let's do the same thing to add the second option. Now that I have my two options, I'm going to save and save again. And we're going to assign this block of options to a specific product. So rules, show this block of options in specific products and categories, search for the classic six close solitaire engagement ring there. We're going to show this to all users, save. Let's go back to the side, refresh, and there are my two options, white gold and yellow gold. And there is my tooltip, yellow gold color, my other tooltip, white gold color. So now I have my two options, but I'm not sure about how they look like. We're going to change the display of these two options. So back to the dashboard and we're going to choose these options again. Let's head over to display settings. Now, what I'm going to do first is change this to replace with option images. What this option is going to do is when I select one of the two options that I have before the white or the yellow gold, I'm going to be changing the actual product image for one of these options images. So that's that. Then I'm also going to hide the labels and I'm going to set this up to two options per row. Save, save again, back to the side, refresh. There, so first of all, I don't have the labels anymore because I chose to hide them. So when I hover over the images, I get the tooltip. And then if I selected, for instance, this image, the yellow gold color, the product image changes. Great, so now let's go back to the dashboard to add the second set of options. Add options. This one is going to be the radio button add-on. We're going to name this set of options diamond shape. The first option is going to be pair. We can add a tooltip here. We're going to add an image. I have my diamond shape images already uploaded here. so. This is the one that I have for a pair. Choose. 
Once again, for this set of options, I'm not going to change the price. And now I'm going to do the same thing to add two more options. Save. Okay, so now let's go back to the side, refresh, and let's see what these options look like. Okay, so now I have the image above the radio button and the label. There is the tooltip per shape. I'm going to say I'm not too happy about how these look. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard to change this. I'm going to select a set of options and let's go to display settings. Let's choose a different position for the images. Instead of above label, I'm going to choose right side. And for options per row, I'm just going to choose one. Save. Save again. Back to the side. Refresh. There. Now that looks much better. There is my radio button, my tooltip, my images on the right side. I have just one per row and the label is right next to the images. Back to the dashboard to add the third set of options. Add options. This one is going to be a drop down menu, so select here. And this is going to be the ring size. First label, size 6, 16.5 millimeters. I'm not going to add description or image here. I'm not going to change the price of the product when this option is selected. And I'm going to do the same thing for the next options. There, so now I have my three options. Save. Save again. Back to the side. Refresh. Ring size. And there are my three options. Great. Let's go back to the dashboard. I'm going to add another drop down menu. Select. This one is going to be the diamond size. My first label is going to be 0 0.25 carats. No description, no image. I'm going to change the main product price by increasing $120 if this option is selected. I'm going to add four more options and each one is going to have a different price. Okay, so now I have my five options. Save. Save. Let's go back to the side to see what this looks like. Refresh. Right, so now I have my drop down menu here with my five options. I didn't add a description and each option has a different price. Let's change the display of these options back to the dashboard click here display settings scroll down options per row just one grid layout yes and we're going to change it to 50 percent save save again back to the side refresh and there are my options with a grid layout, I have this set up at 50%, but if you wanted to change it to 100%, your drop down menu would be occupying this entire space. Now back to the dashboard, and we're going to add the fifth add on. The fifth is going to be a checkbox. We're going to be offering the option to engrave the engagement ring. So the title is going to be custom engraving and we're going to add the price right here only for 47 dollars the label is going to be yes i need a custom engraving the price as we mentioned above 
is going to be a fixed amount of $47 and we're going to save this as it is. Save again. Back to the site, refresh. There is my option, the title right here, the label, and I already have the price here. There is no actual need to have the price again here. So I'm going to hide this, back to the dashboard, select this option, display settings, and hide options prices. Yes, save. Back to the site, refresh. There, it looks better now. The title already has the price. If I click here, the price will go up. And let's add our six add-on. Back to the dashboard, add options. Where I'm going to add right now is a text area. This is going to be an option only for those that want the custom engraving. So if they choose to get the custom engraving, they will be able to add whatever they want to engrave in the ring here. So click on text area. We're not going to add a title because the title would already be the checkbox title, custom engraving. So no title here. The label is going to be inner text to engrave. We could add a tooltip, enter your text here. And let's add a description. Um, how about the maximum number of characters, which is going to be 25. And since we're choosing to limit the input characters, we're going to have to set that up here. Limit input characters, yes. Minimum, no, there is no minimum, but there is going to be a maximum of 25 characters. We're not going to add a price because the price is already added in the checkbox add-on. So save, save again, back to the site, refresh. Okay, so now I have my text area right here, my label, enter text to engrave, my tooltip and then your text here. We can type whatever we want here, but I haven't selected the option to get the custom engraving. So. I could type here even though I'm not paying to get the custom engraving. So we're going to change that. And we're also going to change this display because I don't like the size of my text area. So back to the dashboard, we're going to select this sixth add-on. First, we're going to change the display. Display settings, scroll down, Options per row, there's just one. We're going to use a grid layout and we're going to change it to 50%. So that should be a bit bigger than what we had before. Now, let's go to the conditional logic tab and here's where we're going to create the rule to hide that text area. So, set conditions to show or hide this set of options, yes. The rule is going to be to show this set of options if custom engraving right there. So only if custom engraving, yes, I need a custom engraving is selected. We're going to show this add on. Okay. Save, save again, back to the site, refresh. Great. So now I'm not seeing the text area. I'm going to click here. Yes, I need a custom engraving and the text area shows up. It's 50% width. It's not as small as before. I think it has just the right size. There is my tooltip, enter your text here, my label, my description, maximum 25 characters. And let's type whatever. And I'm still typing, but nothing is visible because I have already reached my 25 characters limit. 
So let's choose all of the options. Color yellow gold. Shape pair. Ring size. Let's choose a one carat diamond size. We have this selected. We have the product price, the total options, and the order total. Add to cart, view cart, and here is the ring that I'm ordering. It has all of the options that I selected before. It has the color, the shape, the ring size, the diamond size with the additional price, the option to engrave the ring and here's the text that i typed before so that's how you can replicate the block of options that we have in our engagement ring product in our live demo okay guys so that was it for our video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video